It was another quiet and comfortable day here in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. Things will be changing, though, as we move towards the weekend. We'll start to see some warmer temperatures on the way. Today we dealt with some filtered cloud cover, and we should still see some partly cloudy skies on the way for Friday. Then we have some rain chances on the way, and that's what we're tracking here in your weather headlines. Several rain chances in the forecast late tonight, early Friday morning. Once again, Friday night into Saturday, and then on Sunday. Sunday, though, uh, could be the day that we're looking at uh, the chance for some thunderstorm activity. Some warm temperatures return, too. We're still looking at maybe the mid-80s coming up Saturday, upper 80s possible on Sunday. Outside currently we have some partly cloudy skies on our Lewis and Otto live camera. Temperatures at 74 degrees, so very pleasant outside. Just a little breezy. Winds out of the sound southeast at about 14 miles per hour. Notice dew points, not lower 50s and upper 40s. We're back to the upper 50s. I think mid to upper 60s, even lower 70s possible for dew points this weekend. So temperatures will not look like this as we move forward here Friday through Sunday. We currently have temperatures mid to upper 70s. We have a couple 80s on the board so far uh, late this afternoon, early evening. We have some partly cloudy skies, showers remaining off to the west of I-35 and to, well to the south of I-90. I think we're quiet through the early evening hours tonight. Our chance for rain isn't necessarily in the forecast until well after midnight into early Saturday morning. We're pretty much just deal with some cloud cover at this point in time. Some very light showers well off to the west of Mankato. Eventually, we'll deal with some shower activity overnight tonight. Watch as we move through the overnight hours. Still dealing with that south southeasterly wind. Temperatures holding steady. Lower 70s past several nights by about 10, 11 o'clock. We're down into the 50s. That won't be the case coming up tonight. Now, as we move through the overnight hours, notice 2.30 in the morning. Start to see some shower development to right along I-35. Eventually, a little bit more widespread to reaching uh, that uh, Highway 52 corridor by about 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we'll deal with some rain early in the morning. As we continue to move through the afternoon, then I think we end up clearing the rain out. Maybe some filtered sunshine temperatures, lower 80s for highs on Friday. Then we build in that second chance for some showers and thunderstorms Friday night into early Saturday morning, mainly after 10 p.m. So first we start with tonight. Minor rainfall accumulations likely. I think we're looking at about from 1 a.m. until 6 a.m. in the morning. Those chances for some scattered showers and thunderstorms don't expect severe weather coming up tomorrow morning. Then we have several different chances for showers and even storms. Now the confidence level is low for widespread rain as we move into Friday night into Saturday. The best chance for some stronger storms would potentially be Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. Again, that's our best chance for some stronger storms looking at time frame after 6 p.m. on Sunday. 62 for the overnight low tonight. Some scattered showers possible late tonight. Tomorrow 80 for the high. We'll deal with some partly sunny conditions and then deal with that chance for some showers and thunderstorms into early Saturday morning. Sunday high temperatures upper 80s with that chance for some showers and thunderstorms and we stay lower 80s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Caitlin.